Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Yes, this is Austin at number three. Free Will Dream, Movement Daily, number three. How do you feel this morning? You might as well check in with yourself and see how you feel. It's Friday. Most of you feel good, but I want to invite you to feel a little bit better than you feel right now. Whatever you, wherever you find yourself, whatever's happening in your world, just make a concerted effort to be conscious and to feel a little bit better right now. Now, some people have been telling me that they're not getting the notification when I come on. So I'm going to send out some invites. And as I do, I just want you to check in with yourself and ask yourself, how do you feel this morning? As I get the music level queued up right here and just ask yourself, what kind of a week has it been for you? Has it been a good week? Mediocre? Maybe it's just coasting. You don't feel anything in particular. It's just same old, same old. But I want to invite you to jump in and actually share this, if you will. And I'll tell you why that's important in a second. But some folks have been telling me they're not getting the notification, so I want to go out of my way here and just send some personal invites. As you're here, can you feel a little bit better than you feel right now? Is that possible? Check in with yourself. What's happening? And I want to tell you about a movie that I saw. Cool movie. It had a really cool theme to it and I think it's valuable for people and I will share that with you here as we get warmed up and we look into today's topic do you have a hidden talent is there a hidden talent that you're sitting on you know that's cool to check in with because uh, there's some power in that as well and I'm going to tell you a story around that which is really cool anyway let's say hello to everybody good morning good morning good morning Good morning, everyone. How are you? It's Friday. How do you feel? If you are, you know, check in with yourself and, and find out how you feel and, and can you feel a little bit better than you feel right now? It's, I don't know, but it seems like the better I feel, the better things show up in life, the better results I get. And it, you say it can't be that simple, but like, why not give it a try? You know, why not just make it, if you can't go from, to, from where you are because you say, Austin, you don't know what's happening in my life right now. I'm dealing with tragedy, loss, suffering, life change. I get it. I, I respect where you are and, and I understand that, but I want to invite you just to feel a little bit better. You know, maybe there's something you can step in. Maybe that present moment can open up for you and reveal something to you. And so that's what I want to share with you. Let me jump in real quick to some business. Some people are saying they're not getting the notifications. Well, listen. Don't wait for the notification. I'm here. I put the time out there. I want you to step in. I usually put the time out and the topic the night before of what we're going to be talking about. So don't wait for the notification. Just jump in. Just, just look for it. Go to my wall. The live video is going to be kicking up. Hey, it's Friday. Feel good. But if you don't get the notification, just jump into this world. Number two, share this with somebody. And I got a deal for you. If you share something positive today with somebody, I invite you to share this video because I know that a positive message can change someone's day. It can even change someone's life. And I'm not exaggerating. The messages that I've got from the last video blog I did, lives were changed. Distinctions were discovered and people are set off on a different course based on a two millimeter shift. So but here's the deal. If you don't share this, share something else positive with at least one person. So I'm asking you to share this video, but if you don't share this video, then I'm asking you to go find something else positive and share it with one person to circumvent or defuse the negative noise, I mean the negative news, <laughs> that's constantly being pumped at us over and over and over again. So that's what I have. Now, we're gonna jump into the topic, do you have a hidden talent? I wanna ask you, do you have a hidden talent? Do you have a hidden talent? And as I warm up here, I also want to tell you that we're on Facebook Live, I'm on Instagram Live, and this is going to be uploaded to YouTube later. So let me jump in. I don't want to wait. I want to jump in. Think about the question, do you have a hidden talent? And I'll tell you a story. You may have heard this story before. I heard this from Les Brown, that there's a famous singer named Nat King Cole. Does anybody know who Nat King Cole is? 
Mona Lisa, right? Mona Lisa. He sang the song Mona Lisa. Well, the story goes that Nat King Cole was a piano player. He played the piano and he played at a nightclub or a bar or whatever you do as a musician to get your career going. You go and play wherever you can, right? And the story goes that there was a singer that he played with. Well, this one particular night, the singer didn't show up. And as a result, the owner said, listen, came to Nat King Cole and said, listen, you need to sing. These people came to hear a singer and we need, to, we want, we need you to sing. And he was reluctant. He didn't want to sing because he, he didn't consider himself a singer because he had a really distinct, interesting voice, Nat King Cole. So the story goes that he did go on, he did sing, and the world heard the most beautiful rendition of Mona Lisa. And the rest, as they say, is history. He was sitting on a hidden talent. So don't just listen to this, ask yourself the question. And thank you, Jenna, for answering, you, you know, you have a, I'm good with finances. Yeah, of course, that's a hidden talent. Your hidden talent could be the gateway to maybe something new, a new distinction, a new decision. Look at your life. Is it where you want it to be? Are you fulfilled? Are you fulfilled with the work that you're doing? Are you fulfilled with your mission, your passion, your purpose? We want to help you get free, stay present, and move forward today toward that thing, to get, to get free from the things that have been holding you back to let them go. You heard my story, I'll just review. My story was that I was fixing myself from an from a place of I'm broken, I'm not good enough. Because of my childhood, my broken family. This was, I talked about this on the earlier ones and a lot of people struggle with this. So self-development in and of itself, if you're trying to fix yourself because you think that you're broken, it's not a good recipe, but it, it does help you in the long run. But the first thing is to realize to let go of some beliefs. I had to let go of this, that my story, that I, was, I came from a broken home, uh, stuff's missing. I had to let go of that BS. It's BS. It's BS. I call BS. I call BS on some of your stories. I do. I call BS on some of your stories, some of them. I know there's some serious things too, but what is it, the BS, that you need to let go of? That was, that was part of this. You know, and then, then I also talked about the three things that, that, that really get people to move forward. You can go back and listen to these videos. They were earlier. And, and it was reason and purpose that really chimes us in. Reason and purpose. So let me jump back. What's the question? What is your hidden talent? Let's keep that going. Think about it. What is your hidden talent? What is your hidden talent? Can it be cultivated? What is it? What are you good at? What makes you smile? What puts a real smile on your face? You know, I would say karaoke, but... <laughs> I consider myself a bad karaoke singer, but it's fun, but it puts a smile on my face, makes other people laugh because it sounds crazy sometimes, but what is your hidden talent? And good morning, everyone. Did you say good morning? Mike Cooney, what's up, everyone? Heinz, Olia, good morning. Good to see you. Ann, Neil, Conchetta, Jenna, Linda, Thanks for sharing that, Jenna. Appreciate it. Share one positive thing with someone, if not this. What's up, Jeff? Feel good today. Feel better if you can. What's up, Lisa? Lisa, is it your birthday today? Tell me if it's your birthday. I feel like we should give Lisa a happy birthday. And as we're doing this, uh, Lisa's going to give us a song for the day. And if Lucy's on here, she's going to give us a meme for the day. Sales. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe that's your hidden... I think so. I absolutely think so. Uh... I'm good. I know you're good at sales. You, you, you're a natural because you believe it when you believe in what you're doing, right? I'm the baby whisperer. Tell us about that. That sounds amazing. I love the baby whisperer. Good. Nice. Okay. All right. So that's the thing. Uh, that's what we review. Go back and watch those videos. Hit me with any questions. I got not just me. I got some resources. I got a great network of people that are in my circle. I can get you the answers, but I saw a movie, I mentioned this on the last video blog, some people are struggling with a lot of things that happen in life, like some serious heavyweight stuff, the loss, uh, bad decisions, do you feel like you made a bad decision that just 
visits you all the time and maybe just, you know, maybe you're feeling good, but when you feel good, it's fleeting, all of a sudden it drags you down and you find yourself not feeling good again because of this mistake, this mistake that you made. And here's the cool thing, I saw this movie. And I don't recommend you see it because it was kind of dark. It was almost like a sad movie watching it, but the ending was worth it. And here's the movie, it's about this guy who has the opportunity, and it's really hard to follow, because you, you, it's jumping all over, you don't even know what's happening. But it's about this guy, as a, as a young boy, his parents get divorced, and he's faced with a decision. He can live with his father, he can live with his mother. But this is one of many decisions that he faces. Should I live with my father, should I live with my mother? Should I marry this woman, or should I marry that woman? And what happens is the movie plays out and he gets to witness all his decisions. He gets to live life if I, this is what happens if I live with my mom, this is what happens if I, live, if I live with my dad. And it goes through some really hardships. It's really dark kind of in some areas. And then he marries this one woman who's chronically depressed. He marries this other woman who's happy. He marries this other woman where there's, other, there's some other element. And he gets to experience all of it. And when you're watching it, you're, you're kind of like suffering with him in some of these tough moments. You're like, wow, that's like heavyweight, you know? But what you learn at the end of the movie, and what he learns, is that it all has value. It all serves us. It's about the experience of life. It's that we get to experience it, and it's how we respond to what it is. And the, the worst thing we can do is resist when we say this shouldn't be happening. I feel like I can understand in the tough moments why, why we go there, you know, especially when horrific things happen. I mean, I, it makes sense. But, but let's just say for most of the stuff that happens in our lives, if we just took away that should, like that shouldn't be happening stuff, and we just embraced it, and we just said, where's this going to take me? Where's this going to lead me to? And we got away from trying to avoid it. Instead of saying, I'm going to go, because we, we have an opi opiate problem in the United States with painkillers right now. People are trying to escape. What if we didn't escape? What if we fully stepped into it? And we let it teach us. We let it show us. And we let something new show up. Because I'm here to tell you, you're more powerful than you know. And you do have hidden talents. And some of you are still thinking about that question. You're going, I don't have any hidden talents. I don't know what mine are. Give me 10 minutes with you and we'll uncover those hidden talents. But that's what, so tell me your hidden talents. I wanna wrap this up. I'm gonna keep these shorter as we move forward. I love them, I have fun. But if you, okay, we got Sandy. I, I'm warm blooded and the babies like my warmth and deep breathing. So you have a thing with babies. I love that. What is your hidden talent? What is your hidden talent that you can have some fun with, that you can take with you and maybe do something today, this weekend? It's okay, you got my permission to do it, okay? You have my permission to do it. You have my permission to feel a little bit better today. You have my permission to uncover the BS story and let it go. You have, you have, you have my permission to stay present today to let the moment expand. You have my permission to move forward toward your highest aspiration. If you don't know what your highest aspiration is yet, that's okay. You're in good company. Step into the feeling of it. If you feel something, if you stepped into this, you're here for a reason. Nothing's by accident. You can share this with somebody that you know or share something else positive. I'm keep going back to that theme. And we're going to let this expand. This is a movement. This is number three of 100. We're going to do 100 episodes of this over the next, till the end of the year. So what is your intention for the end of the year? What, between now and the end of the year, what do you want? And I know I'm hitting you with a lot this morning, but I'm feeling it. And when I feel it, I want to give it to you. When I feel it, I want to give it out. I want it to expand. What you give away, you keep forever. What you keep, you lose forever. What you share, you keep forever. What you hold on to, you lose forever. 